Hi guys, welcome back to Tuesday Tips with Back to Health Physical Therapy. My name is Dr. Gleb Kartsev and we have a student, Dr. Physical Therapy and Deborah. Today we're gonna continue the theme about the left-sided thoracic scoliosis. We will start a light explanation on the beginning, what and how is it going on in the body, what is what is doing. So with the left-sided thoracic scoliosis, we're gonna see the left shoulder a little bit elevated and the right shoulder depressed. Why? Main reason is for this, it's going to be side bend that's going to be seen on a T-spine. Sometimes it's functional when you can see it with the function and it's corrected with a static posture. Sometimes you can see it even in neutral posture. So you're going to see a shift. You may see the shoulder blade coming out like this corner going to be coming out more than this one. And this is most prominent seen when you do a regular test with the forward bend, when the person can forward bend and see it. This is major hallmarks that you're gonna be observing. For the additional information, I'm gonna pass the word to Deborah. All right, thank you. Uh, so with a left thoracic C curve, what you're gonna have here are the muscles over here are gonna be lengthened. They're gonna be really weak. So normally our muscles are like this. On this side, they're going to be lengthened, so they're going to be here. On this side, they're going to be extra, extra tight together, so they're going to be here. Both sides are really weak, and that's why we have to work on both sides. Now, when this happens, what happens over here on our lower back muscles is here gets really tight, and these get lengthened. So with our next exercise, we're going to try to open this up. So we're going to try to go from these to here, this to there. And on this side, we're going to go from here to here. That way, we get both sides. We're going to strengthen them, but in, a, in its appropriate way. Okay, so now we're going to demonstrate the exercises that you may perform at home as an addition to your exercises that you perform in the clinic or like at your like training facility. The patient will be lying down on their left side in this position. Knees are elevated and the head is down. This is the starting position. Now what I'm going to ask the patient to do is lift up and you're trying to contract right here, this back muscle, and then come back down. You will hold that position for three seconds. Okay, so let's try it. Up and come back down. And when you come here, we'll be able to guide you with how many repetitions to do and how often to do it. For the next exercise, we are gonna lie down on our right side. Our legs are elevated. However, this time, because of what I explained in the diagram before, our starting position is actually gonna be from up here. Now, this is difficult. It's not gonna be easy, which is why we encourage you to come here so we can help you uh, through the exercise first. And then once you master it, you can continue doing it at home. So you start from up here, and then you're gonna slowly control the way down. Again, using these muscles back here. When you do this, we are trying to elongate that muscle that's so tight, as I explained before. Again, you can do this. You can hold it up there for three seconds. And with repetitions, when you come here, we'll be able to help you out. Exercises that were introduced just now uh, selecting specific muscles. You may perform the exercises in a similar form and activate the different muscles. So please, before executing them, talk to your physical therapist or therapist who can absorb and give you proper guidance on the execution of the exercises. These are targeted, meaning they are selected for the certain groups. You don't want to do them similar on the both sides because you don't want to just hold the deformity you want to actually compensate for the deformity and develop the strategy for the for that compensation therefore make sure you do get the proper evaluation before exercising specific this one exercises now we're also going to introduce you to the easier exercise that you can do with the lesser guidance and it's much easier to correct your daily activity so for this exercise that we about to demonstrate we're gonna strengthen this side so basically you see the left shoulder is going to be higher right now deborah going to demonstrate it the left shoulder higher so we're going to be trying to avoid this position and something that you incorporate in your daily activity for example we can use the model of a carrying a bag or a backpack 
depends what you use. So initially you can use the mirror for feedback. So in this so case, we're gonna use the weighted ball and to imitate the bag that you're carrying throughout the day. We want to keep both shoulders leveled. So we're gonna guide manually a bit and just hold it. Like I'm gonna instruct Deborah, try to feel this position. Remember, I know it might feel weird at this point and you might feel discomfort because that's something that you teaching your brain to keep a new pose because your brain gets so adjusted to the previous position that it seems that it thinks that it's normal but now we have to re-educate the brain and also strengthen the body to support the new position we want to keep the shoulders at level so i introduced deborah to a proper positioning but now go to your original with the left shoulder up so i'm gonna give her a sh imitation of our backpack into her left hand in order to pull it and level the shoulders so i also instruct her try to remember the position remember the like concentrate on your shoulders so next time when you're walking around and carrying something that you're getting into this position so in that case we're going to incorporate the proper positioning and ergonomic into daily activity that will help to educate the brain on the new position also you're going to form and uh, get the correction of the side curves that actually suffering from the c-type scoliosis if you like our videos please share we always welcome from new patients if you need any evaluations we're here for you you can find us at ocean avenue 2148 suit 301 back to health physical and occupational therapy also follow the links below to find our other videos on the scoliosis and many other for other helpful tips